Game and Watch versus Zelda Game One. I didn't see the stage. Alright, this is gonna be a really interesting matchup. Doing a lot of new for me. Just keep it in mind. Hasn't gotten touched so far. Doing a really good job not falling for the Game and Watch traps. Goes for the down throw and then just hovers around him, threatening a bear. Ooh, action lands a bear this time. Okay, our air dodges to the platform. Oh, goes for a down smash there, maybe looking for a berry. It's in there. Oh, and that bear just starts kind of to start. So. Oh, man. Really clean sock from Jeno. Did a good job keeping his opponent out while also maintaining good aggression. Oh. 26%. 40? 42! Wow. But that attack is strong. Ooh, this time he baits out the neutral B. Obviously with the shield grab. We're getting a few up there. Ooh, both were really interesting recovery right there. I like it. You know, he uses the phantom there and retakes it and goes there and locks him off stage. Use the neutral B to cover his own up stage. Up he's out of the corner. Ooh, let's go early. Was about to eat an up smash there. That would have probably been a stock. Ooh, look at that. The neutral B is out of that forward smash. Ooh, and that covers the jump. That was a really nice back there by JR. Ooh, up he's out of that whole situation. Get me out. Oh, really? Nuke just straight up says, my Nuke will be as bigger than his TV gets. Uh, oh, get to death. Oh, can I go for a back or just get him off stage? And the sword! What a big sword! Second stock. Ooh, just moved out there. Wow. Alright, wow. I'll be honest with you, that's it. You know, such clean, beautiful. Oh. Such clean, wow. They are not out of it yet. You know what? Always has that nine in his back pocket. Sword is ginormous. Oh, he kind of stands there. Four times. Zero taking game one with a pretty nice two stuff. And an actual commentator is here. He'll probably do a good job. Much better than me. Top. There you go. All right. Ooh, winner's quarters already. Let's go. Okay, so we got JR versus Jinno. Okay, so Jinno is up game one. Okay, I'm trying to see where else we're at. Uh, hold on. Uh, yo, what is up, my man? Yo, so, what's good? We got Jinno winning game one. Happy man. Um, well, I wasn't there. Uh, Steve was <laughs> commentating for a time because I had to fight Noel. Nice. It was a close set between me and Noel, but I kind of flubbed in game three. But, oh well, you live and you learn. That's the Noel dude. He always comes out. He's a game three winner. Yeah, for sure. But you got I was literally it. one grab away in game two from killing him. Damn. And I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you in losers though. I'm like two matches away. Ooh, let's go. Let's get that. Four anyway, anyway. Let's talk about this match right yeah. now. It's actually looking pretty even on the in the sense it's like JR does have 55% and plus Game Watch oh that was my the God. same to the pressure and as soon as I say that like oh, oh my God. yeah that coverage Zelda's like got a lot of coverage right above her I had no idea that swoops and catches people I feel like um, in this matchup it's gonna be important on how JR actually if he's in disadvantage he's gonna have to because I know Game Watch has a lot of mix-ups to land. 
So, I know that, that could have led to like a very good kill yeah. confirm. I'm not sure what what that is in the kill. The very end up be maybe. Yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. He tries to throw out the bucket. Yeah. That's what Jin was like really good against. Is like he throws out the phantom just to like bait out like conditions, and then he just runs up and covers that other. Definitely. Like he just he's just really good at that. Ooh, the rising bucket actually. I've never seen that. Before. That's very interesting. Place. I've, I've seen JR do that where he like he doesn't exactly go for the ledge every time when he's out there and he's like he up he's barely missing it. Good at time. Yeah, I think Jino actually really wanted to go for the ledge either that or he was just trying to actually do some type of coverage like like while he wasn't just event, which I don't think was the option though. Yeah, he got some, some good DI after the down throw right there, like not ending up with kill. Let's see those backers come out, I like to see it, okay? Dash attack gets the punish from across the stage. That's insane. Bro, that dash attack is actually still like decent in this game. Yeah, no kidding. He was hitting with the Narset earlier. Yeah. Alright, so 109%. Yeah. Yeah, you can't stay on that. Can't that, stay on that. that. Much yeah. no. That's a scary position because it, it comes. Oh my god. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, because that position, it just covers like every option. Yeah. You just have to like. I think you have to pray for like a getup attack. Like that, it, you time it correctly for oh, invincibility. Nice follow doesn't get a second there. He's going out there. Yeah, Game respected. Watch like has that um, that air maneuverability, just able to go out there. So I think like especially if Jino is like is out there, it's gonna be important on how um, Jr has to decide like where to go out there or to like uh, stay in ledge traffic. Yeah. Which Jino, I know Zelda doesn't um, isn't really best at like getting off of the ledge sometimes, especially yeah. since it requires a lot of setup, but I don't know, but Game uh, Watch is not really the best at ledge trapping either. Yeah, definitely. His combo tool is definitely the best option, but there, Jino taking it with a very close down move. Yeah, that was a very clutch. 